Hey, YouTube friends, uh, welcome back. Uh, for your new po folks, thanks for coming to visit. It looks like my last video, uh, Long Walk Home, uh, was a big hit and that you really like story time. So I thought I'd do a little bit of magic and share another story. The year was uh, 1983, the date, April 8th. Magic historians will know it as the day David Copperfield vanished the Statue of Liberty. If you're not familiar with it, David Copperfield, the greatest magician to ever live, vanished the Statue of Liberty in front of a live audience uh, seated in front of him. Uh, he used these uh, radar to, to keep track of it, a helicopter above, so he could see the helicopter above at all times. And he placed some Polaroid cameras around uh, to take pictures uh, from all different directions. Uh, it was a spectacular illusion. Uh, it solidified him as the greatest magician alive, and uh, he's kept that all these years. In fact, uh, uh, he's probably the richest magician also. Oh, well, definitely. Uh, I think in 2015, Forbes reported that in that year alone, he made like $63 million. Yeah, $63 million. Uh, that's just insane. Um, as I said, uh, with the Vanishing Statue of Liberty, uh, there was uh, like 20 people uh, seated on a platform. David raised a curtain. When they dropped the curtain, the statue was gone. Beams of light shone through it. The helicopter hovered above. And then they raised the curtain after talking about the loss of liberty and brought it back. It was very cool. But the thing that I was fascinated was uh, there were these little Polaroid cameras around them. Uh, in fact, I don't think they were Polaroid. Uh, if memory serves me correct, it was a... Uh, Kodak Instacamera, and that he was actually the celebrity spokesperson for Kodak Instacamera. You've all heard of Kodak Instacamera. No? no? Okay, so it sort of disappeared, uh, but he was the spokesperson. And they made little pictures like this, and basically, uh, when you stood a distance away, they could see the Statue of Liberty uh, in the picture. And then, just in a blink of an eye, it was gone. I mean, the statue was gone. You couldn't see it anymore. I have no idea how he did it, but it was such a cool thing, and I, I just... Well, if you haven't seen it, you should visit the link. Uh, there's probably one. I'll try to put one in the description down below so you can see David Copperfield vanishing the Statue of Liberty. Uh, later, I'm going to vanish my plane. Oh, wait, I've already made it disappear. Oh, that's right. I don't have a plane. Okay, so there won't be any plane disappearing. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having fun. Uh, keep well and busy. This is a much shorter video than normal. Uh, but hey, I'm trying to put out content for you. If you like this, put a comment in. Share it with a friend. Uh, let the people know and and as I asked in the last video uh, when you make the comment uh, maybe put like in brackets uh, what ad you saw I or you know was forced to watch for five seconds I'd really be interested in finding out uh, where the advertising revenue is going on my channel it's just bizarre thanks very much keep well keep busy and most of all be happy that was a lot of fun oh this is cool I've got uh, some pins there's a these are the Jerry Andrews pins. I don't know if anybody ever... Uh, I should do a whole thing on Jerry Andrews. Because uh, Jerry took uh, safety pins and he just put them like that. And then when he tapped them like this, they linked together. That's pretty cool. Even if you put another one in between, this gives the impression that it is linked. But it's not. I mean, it's linked onto this one instead. Yeah. Um, but these two really aren't linked. I mean, if they were, they wouldn't look like this, right? Yeah. All right. Thanks for sticking around.